let's see here the first you can see the first first row yeah normally you know um we ate generally s e s or i s to the singular verb you know singular verb you can see example here she speaks she watches she cries all right so you can see actually the best form only speak to speak to watch or cries you know here we, we, we change y to i then add es like this so the first form normally we have to place the uh, right verb with the subject like this you can see here so third person singular subject she all right so the verb is changed following the, the subject she I, I call singular verb here because yeah singular subject third person singular subject this is row one remember row one and s a e s or change y then add e s what is the row two row number two you can see here row number two everyone um take care take care fully with this um, preposition n all right preposition n here when we use okay one noun two noun pronoun one pronoun or two pronoun linked together by using a preposition n and then we yeah we must take plural form that's mean two things three things one thing and another thing so plural plural verb you can see here you the night you the night are an age uh, some milk and and two apples you can see here are ah. so uh, no problem to think of this when you see the preposition and link um, uh, connected with another word connect with another word and another word so verbs must take you know verb must take a plural form you know plural verb plural form plural verb here that's mean we don't add s e s or change y you know nothing to add anything to the best form of verb you can see you then i i choose the verb are or example you say you and i i choose the word speak no s here but if you say she she speaks you know beside you then i speak okay here's the role number two and look at number the role number four number three i'm sorry look look at the role number three here yes here's the role number three remember everyone this one h and every so H and every it is the determiner. I can say that um, this is the um, the determinative adjective. You know, determinative adjective. That's mean the adjective that we place before noun. You see, when you place the noun, um, when you place the noun after this word, we take singular verb. You can say H one, everyone, everybody, everything, and then you plus with singular verb. You can see H boy and girl study even though you see preposition n here but actually h i mean h boy and and girl studies so you change y and then add i e i'm sorry at e e s here so h boy and girl study hard for the exam everyone goes there with with their friends example like this when you place h and every before noun or i i say generally before subject and then verb we need singular verb Remember, simple, simple to take note. I hope you got it. Number four, the rule number four. Sometimes you can choose a thing, you can choose with preposition and, but not confuse everyone. When you see the word or, nor, and but, it talk about a choice, you know, choices.